Oh, yeah, I'm going to pitch up on his wall right here, if you see me. Come, just come straight over to me. Farron Alex Paul stabbed vest under his coat is loitering in a dimly lit car park in South East London, hoping to take possession of a samurai sword. He's arranged to meet a man who's confiscated it from a young friend, too frightened to hand it in himself. Well, what I'm going to do, cos, yeah, I'll take the thing now so you can get off the roadside and then I'm just going to go expose the thing in it and then I'll keep it moving for you, Rob, yeah? While Farron gets the huge knife to a safe place, we find out why handing it to police directly is not an option. If I didn't know about him, that knife would still be on the roads right now. Do you know what I mean? Touch wood, it could have been used by now, so we need more people like him. People, want, people don't want to live this life, they're forced to live this life. Now. That's what people need to understand. But so. why wouldn't you take it to the police? No, 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 that's not, no, 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 no. But the police ain't, they, they ain't no good support. They, you know what I mean? They'll probably point the finger at me. I'd leave my, my house with it within two minutes, they'll search me anyway to find it with me. How would I then explain? what my purpose is, you know what I'm saying? Clearly anxious, he explains why the youngster had the sword in the first place. He's growing up in a tough neighbourhood. Not everyone has the same opportunities, you know, family, love, all of that stuff. So you fall into a gang and you fall part of it. So obviously a young man like him needs someone who can be that figure to say, yo, you can actually do something else, give me that. Anyone would hand it over, I'll tell you that right now. Round the corner, Farron shows us the weapon. This has been sharpened, that you can tell. You see the bits down there? Don't, come don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, because okay. I don't know where it's been and you don't know where it's been. That's okay. what it was on, yeah? All right. But you can see how sharp it is, can't you? It's staggering and terrifying that blades like this are being carried on our streets. But Farron has handed in dozens of them. Are you seeing this? This is what, this is what a single mum confiscated. You see this? Mad thing. The end of the road for the samurai sword is Plumstead Police Station. Farron waits as the knife is carefully encased in a sealed tube before explaining what was going on. I run a knife amnesty and basically people give me knives. I live in North London. I, I picked it up in Woolwich and I thought it'd be very stupid to start driving it halfway across back London. So I just thought to myself, I'll come to the nearest police station and hand it in. Job done, he told us why a father of two young children puts his life on the line time and again. Mate, the way I see it, yeah, if the knife ain't on the street, it can't be in someone's hand. And if it can't be in someone's hand, yeah, it can't stab someone. Because you have been attacked with a knife, haven't you? Yeah, I've been attacked with a knife, yeah. Two times, two separate occasions. Just tell us what happened. Uh, I just got into altercation regarding um, my sister. I was defending my sister. And another time I was defending my girlfriend. And I got stabbed nine times on two different occasions. This blade is now off the streets. Many, many more are still out there with people prepared to kill. And they're unlikely to hand them over directly to police. David Bowden, Sky News in South East London.